This is a response to the girl who's like, I'm the real one and everyone else is fake. I'm not really sure that's true. I think a lot of people's symptoms vary. And I think they relate to like the textbooks. Like they're like, well, I'm kind of like the textbooks. And then they kind of like just relate their symptoms a little too much to it. I guess the only people who fake it would fake it for the social security money. And that's not much. So I really don't understand why they would do that. I don't think there are a lot of fakes out there. But I think there are a lot of other mental disorders that are diagnosed as schizophrenia when it's not. Because schizophrenia is like... <sighs> schizophrenia is like a devastating brain disorder where it gets worse and worse and worse. And these people seem to get better. But they don't want to get better because they either don't want off the social security money... Or they want to keep their disorder as an excuse for something. There's um, an old term called railroad spine. And it's uh, it was about these people that collected money for having back injuries. And um, they um, would miraculously be cured. Or, you know, once they got the money and got the help they needed. And I think that there's a lot of railroad spine going on around here. I don't think that they should call it schizophrenia. I think they should call it something else like... Maybe a personality disorder or maybe a delusional disorder, but I think that doctors labeling someone as schizoaffective or schizophrenia, I mean, that's just devastating to the person in society. I mean, it's just, it's so expensive and it's so, so detrimental to the life that the person leads because they're no longer considered normal and they have to, I mean, like, I have a guardian now because... I was ruled to be incompetent before a judge after a few things, mostly the glass bottles. That's what got me into the most trouble and screaming at the cops to kill me at one point. That was pretty stupid of me to do, but I was, I couldn't feel my emotions, so I was screaming everywhere. And I don't know how to explain that when it first happened. It was just, it was horrible, but I really don't think I should have been ruled incompetent. I was, though. Again, I don't think that... People should be labeled schizophrenic or schizoaffective at first. I think that there should be like a progression. Like you have schizotypo. Is that I'm I'm saying it right? It's a personality disorder, then a delusional disorder, and then if it keeps progressing, then go to schizoaffective or schizophrenia. I think there are just way too many schizophrenics, schizoaffectives out there who really aren't. They just have like either like some sort of life crisis or something else that's not as not as bad as what these disorders are. I mean, I live in a house with a bunch of people who have these disorders. And let me tell you, um, they're a lot worse off than I am. And um, it's uh, it's absolutely, it's heartbreaking. I mean, I can't feel heartbreaking or any emotion. But if, if you saw these people, you would know what real schizophrenia is and what real schizo schizoaffective is. So in response to the lady, I don't, I don't think a lot of you are... Many of you have, like, a serious mental illness. I think you just have a mental illness.